So after the virus, which will not be mentioned, basically screwed up the whole of MWC 2020, we've had to wait an extra month for Nokia, or rather HMD Global, to finally launch the fresh new batch of Nokia branded smartphones. And one of the most intriguing ones was the sub £200 effort, the Nokia 5.3. The Nokia 5.3 will be coming in April for a price tag of around €189. Euros. I haven't got a UK specific price, but it'll probably be around the £180 price point. Rather brilliantly, the tagline is stay in the game for longer, and that's why I'm nicknaming the Nokia 5.3 the Viagra phone. Now, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to go hands on with the Nokia 5.3. No one has because it was an online launch event. But don't worry, I'll be bringing you a full review soon. And what this video is, is basically just a run through of all the specs, the various features, so you are fully up to date on what to expect, and also my own personal opinions on whether it'll be a good phone or not. So let's start with the design and that composite polymer frame which apparently will come covered in a scratch resistant coating to help keep it nice and pristine. You can pick up the Nokia 5.3 in a trio of colours, cyan blue, charcoal black or this lovely bright orangey yellow which they're apparently calling sand. HMD Global says that these three colours are all Nordic inspired although to be honest I can't really remember the last time I hung around on a Norwegian beach or took a stroll through a Finnish desert. But that's probably just me being pedantic, let's skip on. Flip the Nokia 5.3 around and you'll find a rear fingerprint print sensor and you'll also got a dedicated Google Assistant button there on the edge and hip hip bloody hurry there is a headphone jack as well lovely stuff as with all Nokia branded handsets you do get a pure version of Android OS on there no clunky launches slapped around on top and HMD Global has done very little in the way of fiddling around with that OS and it is of course the latest version of Android Android 10 as you'd kind of expect now that we're balls deep into 2020 and as usual you get complete reassurance and peace of mind with a Nokia branded smartphone HMD Global is guaranteeing two two years of OS updates. That means you'll get Android 11 towards the end of 2020 and next year you'll get an upgrade to Android 12 as well or whatever it ends up being called with of course all the usual security patches and other updates along the way. Now let's move on to the display tech and it's a 6.55 inch IPS panel with an HD plus resolution that's 1600 by 720 pixels. So yes true your photos and videos aren't going to be super super crisp but that's pretty much the same specs as the Oppo A9 2020 which came before it fully reviewed that and you know what I had no troubles with that whatsoever for a cheeky bit of YouTube or Netflix or something like that. The images are perfectly crisp enough to not take you out of the experience. It's still almost 300 pixels print which is absolutely fine. And yes there is a central notch for that selfie camera on the Nokia 5.3 as well but it doesn't look like it intrudes too much on any full view action. As for the audio, well, apparently it's a mono speaker setup, so you don't get stereo speaker setup like you do on the likes of the Moto G8 Power and Plus. But you do get that headphone jack, of course. Sadly, it is the older Bluetooth 4.2 as well, though not the latest Bluetooth 5 or 5.1. So hopefully the wireless connection will be all right. Again, I'll have to wait for full testing to really verify that. But the good news is you definitely do get NFC support on the Nokia 5.3, so it'll support your contactless payments. Nice bit of Google Pay action, great stuff. Performance is provided by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 665 chipset. It's very popular platform for smartphones around the £200 price point. So for instance, the Moto G8 Power uses it, the Realme 5 from last year, the Oppo A9 2020, tons of kit. This however is the first time you'll find one stuffed inside of a Nokia branded handset and here on the Nokia 5.3 it's backed by the 3, 4 or 6 gigabytes of RAM depending on your region, although it seems like 4 gigabytes is the standard version. Now this kind of setup usually provides pretty smooth dependable performance for your everyday shenanigans including a nice bit of light gaming or the likes of PUBG Mobile on those low detail set and certainly perfectly playable. And of course the fact that you get a perfectly pure version of Android 10 OS without sort of any clunky launches sat on top sapping the resources would mean you would hope that it would be even smoother than usual compared with a lot of rivals. But of course budget Nokia's in the past haven't always been the smoothest of performers. They can be a little bit stuttery and stammery so again we'll have to wait for a full review to really see how that performance holds out. And on the battery life front the Nokia 5.3 packs a 4000 milliamp cell and Nokia Reagans or rather HMD records you get two full days of battery life in return. Now, I reckon you probably get a solid day and a half as long as you're not absolutely hammering it with your PUBGs with a bit of camera action stuff like that. You should easily make it through a full intense day though on a single charge. And of course let's not forget the storage. You get a choice of either 64 or 128 gigs of storage space here on the Nokia 5.3. Although once again it seems like the 64 gig model is pretty much the standard version. I'm not sure whether 128 gig model will actually be available. And that is expandable via micro SD up to a further 
512 gigs as well. So you'll have plenty of room for all your apps and media and other shenanigans. And the other good news is that that micro SD memory card slot is actually separate from the dual SIM slots as well. So you'll be able to pack two SIMs in there as well as a memory card job done. Now let's finish this specs round up with a look at the Nokia 5.3's quad lens rear camera in that sexy circular chassis. Four lenses on a budget four might sound pretty impressive, but it's actually quite standard in 2020. Just check out any Realme, Xiaomi or Oppo phone pretty much, and you'll see at least three lenses slapped on there. And what you get here is a 13 megapixel primary lens, f1.8 aperture, and that's backed by a five megapixel ultra wide angle lens, a two megapixel macro lens, and a two megapixel depth sensor for your portrait shots. HMD Global has confirmed that the Nokia 5.3 will come with full AI scene recognition and there'll also be a dedicated night mode as well for those low light scenarios, so hopefully that'll do the job. Of course, I'll have to wait to actually get my hands on the Nokia 5.3 and really test out that camera tech to see if it is any good for your everyday photos and home movies. But as the phone is coming out in the UK next month, hopefully shouldn't have too long to wait to get my hands on a proper review sample and I'll bring you guys my full final verdict as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching. Sorry again that it's not a proper hands-on review this time. It's a real shame I haven't had a chance to check out that tech in person, but hopefully really, really shortly. So please do put subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and I'll bring you my full thoughts really soon. Cheers everyone, love you.